Hey and welcome back to Living with Pixels. In this video we're gonna create a transparent sticky header so when you scroll the header becomes smaller and there's a background that will change when you start scrolling. As you can see the logo also becomes a little bit smaller. This also works perfectly on mobile phones as you can see right here and this also works on a white or a lighter background like this. So then you can transform the menu to a white version if you have a dark logo for example, and you want a clean white header. So let's just get started. So what we're gonna do in this tutorial is we're gonna work with this test page, uh, which doesn't have a header like you can see over here. So let's just go to the Elementor Pro Team Builder. By the way, if you have never worked with the Elementor Pro Team Builder, then you should watch my uh, basics video in the description. This is not a video for complete beginners. This is for people that already know a little bit about Elementor. So what you need to do is you need to create a header template. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on add new, select your header and name it uh, something. V2, I'm gonna call it a tutorial right now. Click on create the template. All right, click this away. So you can set up your menu in whatever way you want. Uh, for this example, I'm gonna create a white menu. So that means that we won't see a lot on this page because it's gonna be white on white, but when we click save and we adjust it to this page, then we will see what's happening. So to keep things simple for this tutorial, I'm gonna create a super simple header with two columns with a logo on the left and a, and a menu on the right. So create two columns, drag in your logo. Now I'm gonna select a white logo, as you can see over here. Click on insert. Uh, make sure the alignment is on left, but don't change anything yet in the width or the max width uh, because that's what we're gonna do with CSS. Also drag in your menu, so your nav menu widget like this. Make sure that you have one menu that you can select from here. You can create that from the WordPress menu screen over here. Again, if you are a beginner, there's a basics video also about uh, the basics of WordPress. If you don't know how to create a menu, let's style this a little bit. Okay, so I've made the menu white because our background is dark. Um, but as you can see, it's not middle aligned. So what I want you to do is click on the column and then put this column vertical alignment in the middle. Now it's middle aligned and also do that for this column. So go to the first column, vertical alignment, middle. Also, what you wanna do is always uncheck the padding. So it's left aligned in the corner. There's no padding on the inside of that. And also do that for this column. So let's see what we've created so far. Click on publish. I'm gonna uh, add this menu to that one single page just to test this. So I'm gonna assign it to my new page. Pan Tours Tutorial. Click Save and Close. Go to your new page. Click on Refresh. And as you can see, now it's not transparent. So let's first make it transparent. Uh, so what you want to do is click on the whole main section. Go to Advanced. Unlink this one. And then we want to apply negative margin to the bottom. Uh, and in this way, the content beneath it will move up. So if you put minus 90 over here, the content moves 90 pixels up. But we haven't told Elementor how big the menu actually is. So what we also need to do is go to layout, go to height, minimum height, and put that also at 90. Okay, so now if we click on update, go back to our page, click on refresh, you can see that our menu is now transparent. That's cool. But now our logo is gone. What's happening? Well, we also need to change the Z index or the Z index. So if you click on your main section again, go to advanced and the Z index, put that all on two, at least two uh, or maybe 10 if you wanna be sure, uh, because that is the layer. So what layer is on top, like in Photoshop or Premiere Pro or whatever other creative tool. So now if you click on save, click on refresh, uh, now we have our whole menu, which is transparent. Okay, so the first step that we need to do uh, to make it sticky is uh, scroll down go to motion effects make sure you are in the main section and then sticky put that on top so click on update again go back and see what happens see now it's sticky that is nice so now we're gonna add our first line of custom css so scroll down go to custom css and here we're gonna paste some code i've combined the code of two uh videos actually in video of elementor and a blog post that i found so i think i'm the first one on youtube to to show you this so that's pretty cool um so the first code that you want to copy is this section i will explain you what this is so just copy it i will put that in the description of this video so click on the description you can just copy and paste it so if you paste that over here, what happens is that uh, this applies a RGB, so that's a color, background to this 
section to the menu section and then it will also give it a nice transition of one second that is what i think is ideal for a menu like this but now what happens when you click save you go back to your page you click on refresh you can see that it's already applied from the top which is not what we want because we want to start with something transparent so then we can go back go to advanced i'm sorry go to motion effects and then put this effects offset at 100 and that means or not 1000 100 so that means that this effect will start at 100 pixels so now if we click on update go back to our page click on refresh we will start with this background and then when we scroll it will show that background also if you want to change the opacity of this maybe you want to make it fully black what you then need to do go to custom CSS and delete that 0 0.5 because that means 50% opacity. Okay, so maybe if you wanna put that at 0 0.7, click on update again, go back, click on refresh, and now you can see it's a little bit less transparent, uh, but sometimes you want that for visibility. Okay, so now we wanna make it a little bit smaller because the logo is, is huge. In a lot of cases, you also wanna make the menu a little bit smaller like I've done with this version. As you can see, it's just a little bit nicer because the menu doesn't have to be so big. Because because with a lot of those cool transparent headers you want to have more margin over here than the margin that you would have with a background menu okay so let's just do that right now go back go to your custom CSS add a enter okay and copy the next part which is the height so the change in height when the uh, 100 pixels is reached so also paste that so that means that the header will change to 70 pixels so from 90 to 70 if we start scrolling again with a one second ease so that's an animation click on save then go back click on refresh and now you can see that the menu becomes smaller but our logo is still massive so that's the last piece of code that you need to paste so go back to text edit and then copy this one make sure you press two times enter or one time and then press update so what this means is that the logo image which is this image will have a max width of 140 that's the starting point and then it will go to 120 with a, a 0 0.5 uh, animation so let's see what happens when we go back and we click on refresh and then nothing will happen uh, because we have used an id a css idea which is dot logo so we need to tell elementor that this is called a logo because elementor doesn't know that it's a logo right because it's just an image for elementor so if you click on the image so click on that pencil go up click on advanced css class and type in logo here so in this way you tell elementor like hey this we call this a logo and then apply this style to that logo because that's the code what, that we've just pasted okay so now if you click on update you can already see preview over here go back to japan tours and click on refresh and now it will start small and it will become even smaller when we start scrolling. That is pretty nice. And if you want to make that animation fit, what you need to do is go back and also change. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to click on the section and also need to change this to one second. And then everything will be animating at the same time. So go back, click on refresh. And now you can see that looks absolutely smooth. Let's check mobile real quick before you're gonna click save and send it to your client, right? So check mobile and see what happens here. Okay, so for your mobile, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the menu is uh, on, uh, for example, on 50 and also the column of your actual menu is on 50. And of course, you also wanna style this icon uh, because now you can see it, right? So this is called the toggle button. Background color, put that on transparent, but the color itself, put that on white in this example right but if you have a white header of course you're going to change it to another color and then you want to um, make sure that this also is right aligned and then make sure that you have a little bit of spacing on the inside of your main section so go to advanced unlink this put 20 on the left 20 on the right like this okay make sure this looks good you can also change the colors of this uh, like i've done in my example as you can see right here i've changed that to to black but um again this is not a tutorial to style the whole menu this is a tutorial for that sticky headers so now we are done uh i'm pretty happy with the header it looks pretty cool if you have any questions then please let them down below again the code is in the description if you have any other ideas for new videos then please let me know in the comments down below and then i want to thank you for watching if you want more videos about how to start your own web design business, then uh, you can subscribe if you want to. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, hopefully. All right, bye.